Thank you very much for your cooperations. In this video, we will explain about maintenance procedure for Joka saw. Joka saw works with blower. Also, it sometimes needs low water pump and different pump. It also needs control panel and power source box, depends on the project. We also introduce about how to maintenance these equipment. Once arrive at the site, check the following at first. 1. Whether there is forming. 2. Whether there is bad smell. 3. Whether there are any problems for manholes and checker plates. Secure the operation space safely with color cones. Please don't forget to inform owner about keeping Joka saw maintenance space before maintenance work, especially Joka saw is installed under the parking lot. You should wear gloves when you check inside of Joka saw. Also, please wash your hands after maintenance. Before Joka saw maintenance, Check the control panel at first. Check if the power is supplied properly or not. Check if any warning lamp of each equipment is on or not. Check if any buzzer or alarm is on or not. Check if blowers are working well or not by feeling of blower's vibration. And also check if irregular sound and air leaking is occurring or not. Let's start maintenance of Joka saw. Make sure you have prepared maintenance tools. Do not forget to print the check sheet. Fill in sheet if you can write any items in advance. Sampling the treated water after disinfection chamber. If there is a front pump chamber or a ZP tank, you can use this transferred water to the chamber or tank. Measure concentration of residual chlorine in treated water by using residual chlorine meter. First, put the treated water in both cells. You can fill the water until the upper line of cells. Please wash both cells with treated water before using. Pour treated water in the cells and fill until the line in the meter. Put chemical tablet on the left side cell. As the chemical tablet react, bubbles will emerge and the inside of the cell will be mixed, so stirring is not necessary. Treated water on left side cell is changing the color into pink about 1 minute later. Depths of pink color in left side cell indicates the same concentration as the value of cell in the right. 0.4 mg per liter at this time. You can see clearly the treated water turns into pink color from the top. Collect water after vinoch of sedimentation chamber. Check the color and smell after sampling. This time, color looks clear but a bit white and there is no smell. Next is a measurement of transparency. Look a plate with double lines is in the transparency meter. Fill the meter with treated water. While looking inside the transparency meter from the top, the water by opening the lower cock until you can see the double line at the bottom. Check the water surface. The transparency is 24 cm at this time. 
Measure the pH and water temperature of treated water by using a pH meter. Connect the pH electrode to CH1 on the upper part of the main unit. And then insert the temperature sensor cable to the unit. At the same time, connect the DU sensor as well. Using the same procedure to connect to CH2 on the main unit. Preparation for measuring pH and DU is completed. Press the power switch on the lower right of the main unit. At the upper left of the screen, the electrode under measurement is displayed in black blinking. Press the down arrow to change to CH1. Slide the pH electrode cover and soak the tip of the measuring bar in treated water. The blue mace button in the center and wait until the hold button on the screen turns from blinking to solid. The pH is 7.22. The water temperature is 34.5. The measurement results so far as you see in this form. At first, we check the appearance of separation and sedimentation chamber. In this site, there are three manholes. We check every hole's condition. In particular, we have to carefully check the conditions of the inlet part and the outlet part. Check if the inlet part is not blocked by large garbage and scum. Check if exhaust pipe is not blocked. Check if the outlet is not blocked by large garbage and scum. Remove big scum and dust from solid liquid separation section. Large garbage is taken out of the tank. But if it is a size that can be taken with a ladle, Move it outside the solid liquid separation section. As you can see, large garbage is in the separation box. Such garbage causes clogging of pumps and piping. Please instruct the owner not to trash big garbage. We collect raw water from the first chamber of the solid liquid separation section. Measure the pH and water temperature of the sampled raw water and ammonia later. We check the anaerobic chamber. First, make sure that there is no big trash and plastic. Make sure that the transfer pipe is not blocked. The piping which you can see on the right side is a sludge drum pipe. It is a pipe for inserting the vacuum hose during this latching. The PVC pipe is connected to the moving bed chamber. Make sure that the water is flowing smoothly without stagnation. Check if there is any abnormality at any point. While checking the state of aeration, adjust the air volume by opening and closing the valve when necessary. Check the flow rate of moving bed media. Ideally, it is good to collect the water and media directly from the chamber with a beaker of 1 to 2 liter. If the water level is too low to reach, please use a ladle to take water and media to a beaker. Confirm what percentage of the total amount of media is occupied. This time it is 50%. Take some media and put them in a container containing clear water and check the state of a biofilm on media. Please take photos of state of biofilm. Measure the pH of the moving bed chamber. We use the water we sampled earlier. Switch on the pH meter and confirm that it is CH1. Insert the pH tip of electrode and start slightly. Press the mess button and wait until hold. When hold is solid, read the value. The pH is 7.43. 
switch the display to CH2DO with the DO meters up or down arrow button. In DO measurement, insert the DO electrode directly into the moving bed chamber. Make sure that the electrode is under water. Like the pH measurement, press the mess button and wait until the hold indication changes from flashing to solid. The measurement result of DO is 4.19 mg per liter. The water temperature is 37.2 degrees centigrade. Wash the pH meter with clean water after measurement. The tip is made of thin glass. Be careful about handling the kit. Do not use brushes, it will be broken easily. Wash the DO meter with clean water. Remove and wash the tip cover. Do not use brushes and sponges. Clean the media separation screen. The important part is underwater. But if there is no abnormality such as too much high water level, cleaning only at the upper part does not matter. If the water level is extremely high, such as when the piping is submerged, stop the blower, open this cover, and wash the underwater part from inside the piping. Turn the cover counterclockwise to open. Check the floating status of the scum. Check scum thickness and occupancy rate. Take floating scum. The collected scum is transferred to the solid liquid separation tank through the measuring box. This is an effective method when the scum is thin. Refresh the air lift pump. Turn the valve for air lift air free closed and wait for 0 0.5 to 1 minute. Then free open the valve. At the same time, the bottom slurch is lifted up, so wait as it is while the SS concentration is high. Repeat this operation several times. Finally, while closing the valve, adjust the proper amount of circulating water. Align the water surface of the v notch with the black line. Explain in detail with a small type joker saw. Remove the dirt on the equipment with brush. Insert the hose into the circulation pipe and also clean the inside of the piping. There is a cleaning port in the circulation piping inside the anaerobic chamber. Insert the hose from the cleaning hole and clean the inside of the pipe. Adjust the air valve and set the appropriate value while checking the scale of V notch part. Take out the chlorine tube. Be careful not to drop when taking out. Please wear gloves when handling chemicals. Check the residual amount of chlorine. After filling the chlorine, clean the chlorine tube and set to the original position. Introducing the case for small type joker saw. Take out the chlorine. Clean and remove the dirt of the part with treated water and the tube is contacted. Clean the adjustment disc and return it to the original position.
After replenishing the chlorine, close the cap and put back to the original position. Please be careful not to drop it in the tank. Measure raw water and treated water. Dilute raw water by 10 times. Put 9 ml of pet water or purified water in a dedicated bin. Add 1 ml of raw water. Before taking each sample with a syringe, please wash both. Put the black cover on the bin and stir sometimes. Insert the bin into the device hanna and rotate it until it stops. Turn on the power with the on button of the device. Press the zero button. Wait until zero lights on the screen and 0, 0.00 lights up. Take out the bin from the device and put four drops of reagent A in the water of the bin and stir for some time. And put four drops of reagent B in the water of the bin and stir for some time. After agitation, wipe off and remove dirt of the cell by using tissue. Set the cell, hold the lead button until the display shows 330. After 3 minutes 30 seconds, measurement starts automatically. Ammonia concentration is displayed on the screen. This time, it is 7.56 mg per liter. However, we diluted the raw water to 10 times with water, so ammonia concentration of raw water is 75.6 mg per liter. In the report, we can fill in 7.56 10 times or 75.6. Ammonia concentration of treated water is measured in the same way. In this project, we have to treat ammonia and Jokaso looks working well. So we don't have to dilute the treated water and measurement result was 8.79 mg per liter and maximum of up to 9.99 mg per liter can be measured by this equipment. So you have to dilute to twice, five times or ten times depending on the condition. Prepare scum sickness checker. Connect separated 5 PVC pipes and make one long pipe. Both sides of hose is protruded from the PVC pipe and these sides are locked by wire bands. Check up if is opened or not. If scum is hard, stir the sludge sickness checker into the chamber. After finishing inserting the checker, close the valve tightly. Pull out the checker slowly and measure scum thickness of PVC pipe inside. This time, thickness is 35 cm. Next is another way of measuring scum. 
Insert L type PVC pipe to your scum until the resistance of scum is small. Turn the PVC pipe and pull up until horizontal pipe touch bottom of scum. Scale on the vertical pipe mentions scum thickness. This is an illustration about how to check the thickness by L-type PVC pipe. This equipment is easy to make. Please make it. In analogic filter chamber, measurement point is a baffle before moving bed chamber. It depends on the condition of baffle. Measuring is done at clean pot. Checker bubble of sludge thickness checker is opened and inserted to the buffer slowly. Close the buffer tightly and pull up. While watching the scale, pull up the checker. The top end of sludge is sludge thickness. In this case, 30 cm is a sludge thickness to prevent the front of the air to checker. You cannot pull up hole of checker from water while you are checking. Black one is sludge. This is result so far. Turn off a blower to remove a cover loosen screws of it. Cover is easy to remove. Remove a glut packing and filter. Remove the dust. Also remove the dust and spider web of the back of cover. Wash the filter and wash away the dust. If filter is damaged or very dirty, please exchange that for a new one. Dry the filter. Fit in the order of filter, ground packing and cover. Tighten screws and fix the cover. Turn on the blower and finish. All blower's maintenance is done in the same way. Check the alarm is working or not. Now we check alarm of effluent pump chamber. Check the alarm buzzer is working when pull up float switch. Check the buzzer stop when the switches go down. If a rotary beacon light is installed, please also check it. When the alarm is not cancelled, please alarm reset button and confirm it was cancelled. The other fruits are also checked in the same way. Both pumps work when you lift up second float switch from the top. Only one pump work when you lift up float switch located in the bottom. It will stop when the switch go down. Please be careful not to get an electric shock when you check inside of a control panel. Check switch is auto. Check the rotary beacon light is not on. Check inside of the control panel. Check a circuit breaker is not tripped and thermal trip is not occurred. Use crank meter and measure each current value. Set a button crank meter to A. Insert a power cable connected to each equipment in the crank meter.
set a select switch to manual and turn on it. Current value is shown on the display. Push the hold button when you want to stabilize the value. This is an installation resistance tester. Set red and black cable. Check our battery first. Analog pointer moves when you lift up this red button. Please don't forget to turn off a breaker before check. Connect red cable to power cable and black cable to ground terminal. Set a dial to proper volt position. Turn on a switch. Insulation resistance is 50 mega ohm and it is normal. Insulation resistance of all pumps should be done. Check the setting of switches and lock the panel. This is a report after maintenance work finished. Add message to the owner of Jokaso. Get a confirmation and signature from them. Before start this latching, transfer the latch accumulated at sedimentation chamber to sedimentation and separation chamber. Fully open the air lift valve. Sludge concentration is increased temporarily, however, it reduces in a few minutes. Fully close the air lift valve. Prepare vacuuming truck same capacity as amount of this latching. First, remove scum from analytic filter chamber. Next, insert a vacuuming hose through a baffle to the bottom of chamber. Remove all amount of sludge. Remove scum from separation box. Remove scum from around the separation box. After that, insert the hose to the bottom and dislatch. After finishing every sludge removal, Wash the inside of Joe Castle. Wash an inlet pipe and exhaust pipe also. Also wash analytic filter chamber by using high pressure water. After finishing this latching, fill tap water to these chambers. Adjust circulation water amount to proper value. Check if there is any abnormality and put manholes. At the end of maintenance work, recheck and clear around of Joker Soul. Keep Joker Soul in good condition. This maintenance work is necessary. We hope this video will be helpful to you. If you have questions, please ask us.